With the ongoing ethnic violence in Manipur triggering the exodus of people from the state, a number of tribals who fled the state are taking shelter in Nagaland's commercial district, Dimapur. Hornbill TV spoke to few of them to know more about the situation of the people displaced by the violence. Among those displaced were some students of Manipur University and NIT of Manipur. They alleged that all their documents were burned by members of a community in Manipur. Further, they alleged that the government of Manipur was not providing food to the displaced people or even to the SAM rifles on duty. Let's have a look at the details. TV Tire Dimapure disclosed Nakurule Laga Jagai Tare Hine, Searaji Man, Yere Manipur Laga tribals, Kunba, Itu Bachigine, Yere Higine displaced to Gine Dimapure, Ekta Jagare Tagam, Tangi Kotakuisha, Totangi Kotakura, Tang Kumbado, MU Manipur University, Kumbado, NIT, Aru mostly Tani Ahia Hando Itu Tan, Manipur Laga Hill districts, Kanprahiala, Sekundu and Itia affected Jagahana. Tudinishna Tahan Brakwa. Itu tan bra national media kan bra cover kura itu dead toll kan kwa aru Hindu kan bra itu uh, Christian kan bra Hindu kan ge attack kura kwa do tan do itu hando misa se koi gine ekta message janai diwo ni mile tahan aji Hornbill TV ke kotha kura se koi gine bi janai dishe itu ekla hi noye hili bi tahan tade hoy thaka laga violence to explain kura do tahan bra kwa do itu uh, itu Kalwa Han Takbi Nai Pani Kaule Lavi Nataki Tahan Yare Dimapure Punchala Sekusharutahan Olob Din Rukigina Center Pra Juli intervene Palra Nakurile do itu Tade Buhia tribals kando starvation bra muri wolibi chances ase kuinevi janai dishe itu nishna mohan yare kota kurahandu kumbado mu lase kumbado nit lase aru kumbado inega kam kurya manuhan ase yare ahine dimapure punchahan mohan tahan lo dehi ground reality to janiwa on the 3 March uh, 2023, I can hear uh, explosion and bombs from my home, like a few distance from my home. But I was like thinking maybe they are burning churches again, or maybe they are burning something. So we, we still stayed in our homes, and I was having fever also that time. So I slept, tried to sleep around 1 or 2 a.m. Then but I heard some two wheelers going around in our road in front of our house untimely. So I just woke up and contacted my neighbors and asked them, what should we do? Should we pack and run? And they were like, let's wait and see. They are burning churches only. Maybe we are safe. And then in the end, see, he suddenly said, my neighbor, he suddenly said, let's go pack your things. And then I started packing around 4 a.m. And I wake. I don't want to wake up, up my son that time because he's still very little. How old is your son? My son is five years, and my mom is also diabetic, and so I want them to rest. And I pack our things like very essential. His two three half pants and two three t-shirt, and I tried to pack my things, but I didn't. In the end, I did pack anything for myself, and I pack his medicine because he was having high fever that time. High fever, continuous fever. So I pack his medicine and I try to take as much as possible, but wh how much can I carry? Like, so I carried my son and my, I contacted my neighbors and I asked one, one neighbor, he, uh, he was ready to come with me, but his wife was trying to go to office. And I told him, don't let, him, don't let her go to office because this is not a good time. Let's, we have to go to army camp or else we will not be safe. And then finally I convinced him and then he came to drive my car and then I went out with him to army camp. We reached there around maybe 8, 9 and then the army were asking us 
who sent you here? And but anyway, we entered because we were scared for our lives. And after some time reaching in the army camp, I heard that my neighbor just behind our lane, like one only one road is separating our house from them. Like the mother and son were pulled out from their car and beaten to death. And the mother is in ICU and no one is taking care of her because if someone went and take care of her, then that person's life will be in danger again. So there is no one to take care of her also. And in camp, uh, so we reached with very little stuff with us. And uh, there were houses, small, small houses there. So we just entered the house and so many people didn't even get the house. So, so many just sleep in the open, we slept inside the house and uh, on the house there was nothing floor but luckily for us, uh, the army, they have kept some uh, cloth which they use, no? that hard one, they put it there, it's very dirty and our kids are very sick but still we have to let them sleep on that floor and uh, three families including my neighbor just opposite to mine and uh, another like another family uh, around seven eight nine ten thirteen thirteen people we slept in a six square foot area like we were we slept like this some were sitting some were carrying our babies and we slept like that and uh, i carried three bottle i carried three bottles of water with me on that day and I, we wrestled it because there is no drinking water available also. And the army have one arrow but the water was coming in very little amount and I, so many people were also there. Like maybe if I went there, there's like the place is full of people. So it may be around 2000 approximately and so many children and pregnant women and newborn around seven days old also is there one month two month babies five year old kids six year old kids so many kids and children are there and uh, the army people they give us their ration food they cook with dal uh, which they call khichri and then give us in small small portion because they won't be able to provide for like the whole the whole people for enough for our like to satisfy our hunger no so they gave us enough to survive. We gave first to our babies, like to the kids, and then they ate some. After that, they, whatever is left over, we eat. And the army also tried their best. And But the surprising thing is, Manipur government didn't give us even food, water. They, didn't, they act as if they don't know what is happening. And... Uh, and the army are also eating what they they are giving us. They are also eating khichri. We are also eating khichri. They are also not eating like full to their stomach. No, we are also eating just enough to survive. And we are drinking little as little as possible in this heat. And even when we were protected by the army's uh, locals, they were trying to attack our camps. Uh, we can hear shouts and. Like maybe it could be um, gas, it could be something, but some explosion were there. And but the army uh, successfully protected us till that time. But it felt like a year already has passed. Like we were like we we stayed there for only two nights. But there are so many people stuck there even today. If the Manipur government is not doing anything to evacuate that. We evacuate them, plus like to provide food and the essential water and all. Forget about the clothes and all, uh, the medicine. They are not even providing essential items, uh, especially water and food. And they are not trying to evacuate all the people also. They are not trying to uh, do anything. So I want the central government to intervene or at least the neighboring government to intervene to take out all the people who are stranded there um, in Imphal to take out from them to bring them to safety and to help like in uh, we, we don't know anything when we were in Imphal because 
uh, our net are shut down, no Wi-Fi was there. Uh, our houses are looted first. They'll come with a big truck, they'll take out everything. And uh, they didn't even leave baby soap also. They'll take out everything, they'll put it in the truck. And after putting everything in the truck, they'll choose whatever they want. And after putting, they'll burn the house. One house, they burned, okay. And then after burning, they were not satisfied. So they went again, took out whatever is not burned, and then burn it again. And I will not disclose the name and the place. And the other thing is, uh, uh, so many things are there, but it's so difficult for me to say also. So uh, you are speaking about the government not uh, providing ration for the displaced tribals, no? Yeah. So would you like to elaborate on that? And we're also hearing the ARs are not, the, the FMICs are also not being provided a ration. So what do you think will happen to them if the center doesn't intervene? But um, what, what the center government should do is stop them from this brutality and to provide food for the army as well as for the people mm -hmm. and to end this war or it will escalate. Okay, so we're hearing about the death, death rates now, either 20 or 40, do you think there is more? Uh, in district hospitals and in rims also, we heard so many main bodies, it's not like bodies, it's main, brutally, beyond recognition, so many bodies for, uh, like coming in so many, yeah. What cannot describe, <laughs> and uh, and the media is not doing anything. The death toll will rise day by day if nothing is done. Um, on third May, um, maybe around five something, we have seen a video that they are in the the guns were in the MU gate, and then they broke the MU gate and come into the hostel and attack the hostel, a girl, uh, ladies hostel, and then some were even take out uh, from their room under their bed, uh, they were with, they uh, snatch with their hands, some were with their leg, and then they cry like anything. So they just leave it for the time being, and then they stay, still attack another hostel. And after that, uh, on the midnight, oh, we were rescued by the Assam rifle. And then even some of us were rescued, some were still were attacked when they were rescued by the Sam rifle. And then some of them were, they just attacked in front of the Sam rifle, in front of the Sam rifle, and some even got uh, snatched. They, even their legs were cut with knife. So, and after that, they even uh, come to a hostel and then took our, all our documents, and then they burned even our property. We do not even have the, Time to take even our cloth. We are just come with the whatever we wear, and then we spend the night in that Assam rifle camp. And from the on that for morning, um, the we uh, the first um, through the Manipur police the first MI they keep it. You know, they um, they bring to the first MI camp, and we stay there, stay there up to. Yeah, fifth May, and then on uh, sixth day, uh, sixth May morning, they the bus came and they escort to the airport, and then from the airport we reached the Arunachal Pradesh, the airport, and from that airport we came by Winger and then on at the Assam, I mean Assam police uh, railway station, we came by train and we reached Dimapur here, mm -hmm. and then. Right now, women we are in there very, very. Uh, they did not even care us at the time, and then our life was in between life and death. So we are so much in panic. We don't know. We don't have. What, we don't even have a clear mind at this region, and then we are just running for our life. They come for identity proof, and then again they came back again to snatch the property. So. Uh, yeah. We're in such a panic, and then we just lie, uh, run for our life. Yes. Violence was started, as per our knowledge, violence was started on the 3rd May. And therefore, 
on the third May of this day, on this fateful day, we don't have any choice but to leave our uh, hostel. So we have. If we haven't leave our hostel, then our life is at stake. We know that our life is at stake, but we have no choice. Therefore, uh, we plan, we talk among each other how to leave this area, and that day we couldn't make uh, our escape on that third of May. On the fourth, on the next day, that is the fourth of May, we uh, were dropped to first MR Manipur rifle. And after reaching Manipur Rifle, there were tons of many people who were uh, already being there the day before, that is on 3rd of May. And as we reached there, we could understand the scenario that there is a lack of fooding, and not only fooding, the drinking water is also, there, there is a scarcity of water as well as the scarcity of food. And moreover, there is no hygienic in, in that place. And we couldn't expect there will be hygienic because uh, the place, uh, that is the first MR, it is surrounded by the protesters all over the boundaries. We could see two, three, four smokes, bar burning of houses or tires, and we are not sure what is really happening. We, we heard a bomb blast, we, ha we have heard many people shouting. That time, our life, we know that our life is at stake. But since as an innocent student, we have no choice, we have no uh, authority, we don't know what is happening. We, the, milit uh, the first MR people, they say, uh, you'll be okay. However, we didn't see anyone who is safeguarding us. There may be outside, but there is no uh, assurance that they can protect us. And moreover, there in that first MR, there are many innocent child, more than a thousand uh, innocent child. And as per uh, the day three of first MR, it was recorded about 5,000 refugees are there who are taking shelter in first MR. And uh, moreover, I like to add that uh, the situation, luckily we have come out and survived. However, there are many there are tons of many people who are still in uh, risking their life staying in first MR. And and one more thing I would like to add is there are many army planes, cargo planes coming in. However, uh, we have seen the planes arriving. However, we cannot see any paramilitary forces coming in our area and protecting us. That doubt us whether they are really coming for us or they are really uh, going to some other place protecting the VIPs or protecting the other community uh, from another community. Yes, the SAM rifle, the SAM rifle are, are very generous to us because they have uh, given one by three percentage of their fooding for the, uh, uh, the refugees who are camping there. Because the refugee, when we talk about the refugee, there are many innocent childs, a baby of two or three years, two or three months only also, and it's very hard. And during our time, we even sacrifice our food for the mother and the uh, baby also. So, uh, the uh, according to the statement, it was true that the army they have uh, cut off their uh, food. They have cut one by uh, maybe one by three, or I don't know the ratio, but they have. Uh, given us their part of their food to the refugee, yes. Mm -hmm. First thing, first thing first, I'll just like to clarify that it's not a war between a uh, Christian and Hindu. And secondly, I want to clarify that it is not a war between the Maitis and the tribals. Itia gani man hobo mohan aru ahia din kande Manipur de itia hoi thaga violence laga updates kandi ne jai thagi mo. Moi reporter ke Christian yo ke hua with camera person Wong for Hornbill TV.